the collection if you want a more detailed one um, that has a different place. I just wanted to say my little piece since this will kind of be a uh, history. So, I had already placed my vote. I don't know and I can't begin to know what, um, who everyone else is going to vote for. But little that I did want to say was that I hope that people look at the results that they want to see when they vote in this mass production. I know in many places it's already done, like everyone has already did their place their votes and stuff like that. But um, I hope people look at the results. I mean, we have um, a situation where uh, uh, African American or black or whatever is alone is like, sorry, no offense alone, like, is running and that's great, that's awesome that we have made that much progress here in America. Um, and many people of all nationalities, including white and others, um, totally embrace him. And what's not to like, he's very charismatic, very charming, he's articulate, he um, believes in a lot of the things that people are trying to fight for nowadays. And um, he just seems like the total package. But then on the other hand, you have Tori who's taking on her sin. And, um, needless to say, her husband, um, Bill. I mean, we love Bill. Let's, let's face it, like, everyone loves Bill. But the fact is, he's not the one running. She is. Hillary is. And, um, I just feel like as far as years go, for me, that actually struck me in the opposite way that she, I believe she wanted it to strike people, like, she was, she's begging on her experience, and I'm like, okay, well, some things we don't want people to, to be taught, or to be good at, or, or to be, um, you know, uh, like brainwashed in or something like we don't want the status quo we want change right so if you want change why would you go with someone with experience and possibly many other things and that you don't want to see continue doesn't change come with something new and something new comes with learning something new trying something different right isn't black, isn't he different, isn't he new, isn't he vibrant, isn't he, uh, he has a possibility to rejuvenate. At least that's what I think. That's why I voted for Barack Obama. Barack Obama 2008. Definitely. Thumbs up. Yeah. So I hope you guys are voting Barack Obama. Because I think he has, like, when he walks into a room, we need someone in this time of war. We don't need a wartime president. We need a peace president. That's what we need. We need someone who can walk into a room and bring about resolution, change, peace. Who won't offend, but who will befriend. That's what we need. And I really hope that everyone is voting in that direction. We don't need more offense. We don't need more harsh words. We don't need more harsh policies. We don't need more enemies. We need peace. We need unity. And we need someone who when they talk, people listen. And not only do they listen, but they like what they hear. So, that being said, Barack Obama 2008. Thanks.